What's up guys? I want to start this video with something important. Even though you might not believe it, but you commenting on our videos is huge. And yes, we read most of what you have to say. Many of your ideas and questions are the spark to create a new video, just like this one. I didn't realize it first, but it seems like there's a lot of you who want to know more about input buffering. What is it? How does it work in Smash 4? What are its uses and risks? I'm Risuno from the Beefy Smash Dudes and I'm gonna show you. Input buffering is a game mechanic that has been introduced a long, long time ago. It's a core feature of fighting games and helps at executing your moves and combos frame perfect. Except for a few titles, pretty much every fighting game uses it. Super Smash Bros. Melee, for example, has no input buffer mechanic, which is one of the reasons why it's so hard to execute your combos perfectly. But first of all, what is an input buffer? This mechanic lets you send the input for a move to the game before the last execution is even over. To be exact, you can send the command within the last 10 frames of your previous move's animation. Let me show you an example to explain it a bit better. Here, Little Mac performs an up smash and right afterwards a single jab. In this case, the jab is buffered, which means that its animation will start as soon as the up smash is over. His up smash lasts 47 frames, so frame 48 is the first one you can move again. To buffer the jab, the game needs to receive the input, in this case the attack command, within the last 10 frames of the up smash's animation. It does not matter when exactly the game receives the input, as long as it's in the 10 frame window. If performed right, the jab animation will start right at frame 48, so perfectly after the up smash. Please keep in mind that I did not include the game's visual input delay. If you want to know more about this topic in Smash 4, be sure to watch our video about it. Ok, so now we know that you can press the button for a move a bit earlier to execute it frame perfect. But what is the input buffer's core mechanic? You cannot buffer everything out of everything. There's a bunch of restrictions and rules you should know. Let's start with the general rules for input buffering. First, both normals and specials can be buffered. This means that normals like aerials, tilts and smashes, so pretty much everything that uses the attack button, can be buffered. The same goes for special moves like neutral B or up B. There might be some rare cases where this rule does not apply, but since there are about 1000 of these moves in the game, without even counting the custom moves, it's quite hard to test all of them. I honestly don't believe that there are any normals or specials that cannot be buffered, but if you find one, tell us in the comments. Moving on, jumps can be buffered. This applies both to normal jumps and double jumps. Next rule, dodges and rolls can be buffered. This applies to normal rolls on the ground, spot dodges, air dodges and even ledge rolls. There's an interesting exception for ledge buffers though, which is part of the next rule. Stick inputs can be buffered. This section covers literally only the inputs executed with the left control stick. Just like the commands before, they can be buffered, except for one situation. For some reason, it is not possible to buffer any kind of stick input when grabbing a ledge. So regular ledge get-ups, ledge releases or ledge jumps cannot be buffered out of the grab animation. Rolls, button jumps and get-up attacks though can be buffered out of it. The get-up jump cannot even be buffered with stick jump being set to on. These are the general rules, but there's even more to know. Here are all the moves and situations you can buffer out of. As you can see, you can buffer out of pretty much every state, including your own moves and even hit stun. Buffering out of ledge cancels and Yoshi's Egg Lay though is slightly different and I will explain that later on. Next up, here are all the moves that cannot be buffered. First, power shields and shields in general. Before you rush into the comment section, please listen up and let me explain this. I know that you can't just hold the shield button and it will come out as soon as possible, of course. The shield is not a one press move, so it is obvious that holding it will result in it coming out immediately. But pressing shield once during the 10 frames of input buffer and letting go before you can actually move again will not make your character shield for the shortest possible duration. The shield will just not come out at all. 
This might not be super relevant, but I think it's still important to know and understand. Okay. Stick inputs on the latch. As mentioned before, it is not possible to buffer any stick inputs after grabbing the latch. Z-Air. Buffering a Z-Air results in your character air dodging. You have to manually activate the Z-Air while in the air dodge animation to use it after a certain move. Airborne item catching. You can buffer the input for catching an item while in the air. But if you buffer it out of an air dodge, your character will air dodge again. A regular item catch out of an air dodge is not possible. Sea dropping. Sea dropping can be buffered out of aerial moves, but just like item catching, not out of an air dodge. This will result in the item being thrown. Furthermore, after the air dodge is over, you even need to wait a little longer or the item will be thrown instead of dropped. The last thing that cannot be buffered are stick attack combinations, like dash grabs or dash attacks. This is because it is not possible to buffer two inputs together. Only one of the buffered moves will be executed and the others won't appear. B reversals though can be semi-buffered. Since buffering specials is possible, you can do that and reverse the move at the startup. You have to time the stick input properly though. There might even be more scenarios you can't buffer into. If you find some, let us know in the comments. As mentioned before, you cannot buffer multiple commands simultaneously. There is a strict order which decides what move will come out if you press multiple inputs. From highest to lowest priority, the list is as follows. Specials, Shields, Attack, Jump and, if you're standing on the ground and are not airborne, Stick Inputs. This means that, for example, if you press B and A while being in the last 10 frames of a move's animation, your character will perform a special move. The only exception for this rule are A plus B smashes. If you have activated this mechanic, pressing A and B simultaneously results in a smash attack on the ground and an aerial attack while airborne. Furthermore, there is an own rule for buffering moves after grabbing the ledge. In this case, the list is jump, then attack, then shield. So for example, pressing jump and attack at the same time will result in your character jumping. Okay, that's the core of input buffering. But as I said before, there's something weird when buffering out of a latch cancel and Yoshi's Egg Lay. Buffering jumps, air dodges or specials out of a latch cancel leads to no problems at all. You can even use directional inputs. But if you try buffering any kind of aerial attack, it will always be a neutral air. It doesn't matter if you hold the stick upwards, downwards or whatever. Your character will perform a neutral air if you buffer an attack input. To perform a specific aerial attack after latch cancelling, you have to press A after leaving the latch. So be sure to get your timings down. Yoshi's Egg Lay release is super weird and I am currently investigating that issue. It will most likely be part of a new video. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that. Now you know it. That is what input buffering is all about. Obviously, this is a great mechanic that helps you executing those frame-perfect combos. But you also have to be aware that it can potentially screw your game. If you press too many buttons and accidentally buffer an input you did not want, it might result in you dropping into a terrible situation. So watch out what and when you press stuff. Input buffering is both a gift and a curse. Especially in Smash 4, it is pretty dangerous since 10 frames is a big window. So use it wisely and control it well. With that said, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.